In our series on the financial fallout from the coronavirus, we're looking at the economic pain and how to get America back to work. This graph shows just how bad job losses are compared to the last 50 years. It's expected to get worse as layoffs continue. Gary Cohn is President Trump's former chief economic advisor and director of the National Economic Council. He also served as president and chief operating officer of Goldman Sachs, including during the last recession. Good morning. Thank you for being with us. Thanks for having me, Anthony. Uh, you, Gary, as you, as you, we, as we just said, the president wants to get the country up and going by the end of the month. Health experts, some of them are saying this may be premature. If you were still running Goldman Sachs at this point, would you be comfortable sending your employees back in a couple of weeks? So, Anthony, remember the ultimate decision to reopen businesses are the businesses themselves. They're the ones that shut down first. And businesses are responsible for two people. They're responsible for their employees, but they're equally responsible for their clients and their customers. If I were still in private business running a large organization, I would be working on a very detailed plan to open up in some way, but in a highly segmented fraction. I, I would have my employees separate in location, and I would have them very segregated in times when they came to work. And I would keep those, those different groups um, separate. So if I had a group that came in on Monday morning, they would never see the group that came in on Tuesday morning. And the Monday morning group might come back in on Wednesday morning. So you really have to think through a highly disciplined way to bring your employees back to work. So you're thinking of this as a very slow and deliberate process over how long a period of time, would you think? Well, we're going to have to respond based on a reinfection rate. If we see no reinfection, we can speed up the process. If we see reinfection come back into the system, we'll probably slow down the process. So we're going to have to take our clues from the disease itself. COVID-19 is going to be the answer. Well, Gary, as you know, nearly 17 million people have filed for unemployment claims. Today's numbers will add to that tally. So what do you think success looks like at pro, pro coronavirus? What, what are we going to be dealing with? So, so Gail, look, the American population has done a very good job listening to the government and staying at home and removing themselves from the workforce and removing themselves from the economy. That's been very important to flatten the curve, and we've had better results than we once forecasted. That's really good. Now we have to think about restarting our economy, but not restarting the infection cycle, and, and that's important. So I think a successful return would be very methodically bringing people back into the workforce in smaller groups and seeing what happens, making sure people don't become reinfected. And if we have a reinfection rate, slowing that back down or stopping the reemergence in the economy. The worst thing that could happen would be for us to throw everyone back into the economic cycle and have to go back to having 97% of our people being told to stay home again. We're much better off to go through this slowly than to go through it quickly than have to, and have to stop again. You know, those stimulus checks are, are allegedly going to have Donald Trump's name on them. Uh, the word is it's being reported that it's going to delay the checks. The White House, of course, denies that. But do you think it's a good look for the president to have his name on the check? And are, is a $1,200 check enough? So, Gail, what is important is the payroll protection plan. The payroll protection plan that Congress put in place was a very, very important plan. This was a plan put in place to make sure that hardworking Americans received a paycheck, received the paycheck that they deserve. They deserve that paycheck because they were told, as good citizens of this country, do not go to work. And the businesses that they work for were forced to shut down. And the government wisely has said, look, instead of going on unemployment, stay attached to your business and we're going to send you a paycheck 
as you are working so you can support your family, you can buy your groceries, you can buy the, your other essential goods that you need. That's what's important. That program, unfortunately, is running out of money or may have run out of money last night. It's imperative that Congress come back and replenish that program. Gary, you're saying we basically, we can't throw enough money at this situation. In some respects, we can't. In some respects, the, the mistake would be to not throw money at the program. We will have plenty of time to figure out how to get pay for this and get the money out of the system. But telling people to stay home and not giving them the amount of money they need to support their family, buy their groceries, buy their essentials, and pay their rent would be a catastrophic mistake. And forcing everyone on unemployment would, would also be a bad mistake. We need people to stay attached to the companies that they were working at prior to the COVID crisis. So they stay attached and they know once we start going back to work, they'll be in touch with their employer. Their employer will be able to tell them, hey, you're coming back to work on this day and we won't have to go through a rehiring cycle once we're trying to reopen the economy. All right. Gary Cohn, thank you so much for being with us.